Saturday and the loss a week ago against Florida. This is a rivalry, but Tennessee has won 11 straight, tied for the longest streak in the history of this series. Opening tap, controlled by the home team, wearing the white uniforms of Vanderbilt Commodores. Tennessee in the road orange underway Memorial Gym. Glad you could join us in what should be an interesting evening here in the heart of SEC play. Now entering the back half of the schedule. Mignon got the start. And that's his 12th start of the season for head coach Jerry Stackhouse. And Tyron Lawrence back in the lineup after missing the game at Alabama. A little stop and pop baseline though. Cleared by Kamwa. And here's part of what Coach Barnes told us he wanted to pick up the tempo with this Tennessee offense a little bit. You see them doing it off that missed shot. Julian Phillips outside to Ziegler. Plenty of time to shoot for Big Orange. And that's a long one by James No. And Robbins controls. Commodore's coming off a win against Ole Miss after that tough loss to Bama and Tuscaloosa last week. Team would rather forget that performance. Coach Stackhouse told us it was one of the worst he's ever been a part of. Player, coach, assistant, G League, wherever. And you see, it's so difficult for Tennessee's defense. They just don't get out of your way. Communicate well, get down, and stay in front of you. And if you're not a good one on one player, you can't break down your own defender, you're going to struggle against this Tennessee defense. Yo picks up the offensive foul, starting five for the ball. Ziegler, seventh consecutive start after beginning the season in that opening rotation. Phillips stops and pops, and the freshman out of Blythewood, South Carolina, puts Tennessee on the board first. Had a good game in their last meeting. I love him come around that tight curl, one dribble. What about the stop and pop? It's still there in the game. There's still a need for it. It's a lost art these days. The game hasn't changed. Just like Coach Rick Barnes told us this morning. Saw the Twin Towers in the starting five. QMB and Liam Robbins. Jordan Wright coming off the bench. We'll see how much he can go. Lawrence a step back. There it is, and that's a long two, and we're tied. If they can make that shot consistently, right? That's, again, a tough two. You're going to have to make some of them against Tennessee in this defense. Coming off his first career double-double is Lawrence after being benched for the Alabama game. More on that as we go through. Ziegler, a high arcing three, no. He'll get it back. No look dish inside, and there's the flush. Kamwa and the Tennessee fans well represented in Nashville tonight. A lot of orange around here. Tennessee third best in the nation on offensive rebounding percentage. Vandy knows that five guys got to attack although long rebound on that three-point shot Robbins had 18 in the previous matchup January 10th misses here so This is what I love Tennessee defensive rebound get it and go triple J Josiah Jordan James can start the break Tom while off the mark Robbins another board No three minutes in it's four to two Mentioned Tennessee against Auburn Saturday was 46 43 in case you missed it Tennessee won despite scoring only 46 Robbins and that's a three Seven three ball this season for the big man well, that, That's why Liam Robbins and Quentin Malore Brown can play together. How about a high low with the seven footer? That got you excited. I love it. Catch and shoot. No hesitation James that's a mid-range well short Robbins has it Liam Roberts against Ole Miss, 19-12, and seven rejections. Well, Stubbing the stat sheet. And if he's not blocking a shot, he's altering the shot. He check. Yes! Robbins for three. Two triples for the seven-footer in the first four minutes for Vanderbilt. Vescovy, he answers, and that's a triple as well. An offensive explosion here. We knew it was going to go one way or the other. It was going to be another grinded out game. Defense wins the day. I'm glad it's a three point shooting game. A lot more exciting for us. That kind of fits your billing, right? That's what you're looking for. Robbins already with six points. A couple of rebounds. Going to work against Kamwa. Lost the handle out of bounds. Back to Tennessee. Good start for the home team trying to pull off the upset coach stack gotta like how his team's playing early Yeah, 
they used to when go. He was a player. Yeah, do a little battle when they were in the ACC. Sack, of course, played his college hoops at North Carolina. Rick Barnes was a coach at Clemson. And they squared off a couple of meetings back in uh, 1995, I believe. And some pretty good matchups back then. Long time ago. Out of the timeout. Key comes out. Firing. And that's a bucket from the mid-range of Tennessee back in front. Love part of uh, Tennessee's offense. Hard cuts, screens, and curls, catch and shoot. Saw Julian Phillips do it earlier in the game. Tyree Key does it right there. Studi trying to feel Robbins inside, and he fed the big man. Thought he got smacked in the face. No whistle. Terry Oglesby, Doug Shouse, Tony Green, this veteran officiating crew tonight. Vesca V launching. That's a three back iron. Right over the back and over top of Lawrence. A foul's called on Awaka, his first. This is the value of having a big fella inside and out. You see three orange jerseys there. And Liam Robbins, since he's come back from his ankle injury, has been probably one of the most physical players in the league. He looked like a prize fighter after every game. He's got cuts, bruises everywhere, but that's just part of the game, physicality. It is a physical conference. Defense has been the name of the game. I mean, you could argue it's that way in all of college basketball this year. Alabama, perhaps that one exception. That looming matchup with Tennessee is going to be massive in the conference. And, and with Liam Robbins made two threes, I still want to see that right there. Open up the floor, hard cuts in the lane. As good as they're shooting it early, you got to find a way to get high percentage shots at the rim. Mignon the basket on one end, Awaka the bucket on the other. And back and forth we go early. Jerry Stackhouse talking with the local media this week. Our conversations with him this morning, Shooter. I mean, he's talked about the fact that Vanderbilt needs a signature dunk. Mm -hmm. This certainly would qualify against a rival ranked in the top ten. Oh, so Tennessee is not doubling necessarily, but they're digging down on the same side as Liam Robbins. Just a little dig down, not leaving the shooter wide open. Keys wide open. Five points quickly off the bench for number four in orange. Well, Tennessee's getting out and running, and they flatten out the defense. Tyreek Key as a shooter. What do you want to do? Sprint up the floor, get to that corner, flatten out the defense, stretch him out. Ball starting 6 of 11 from the floor. The answer on the other side, another three by Lawrence. What are you putting the water in these fellas today? <laughs> What's going on here? Off the steal, Jordan Wright checking in for the first time. Cleared of concussion protocols as of this morning. We'll see how much he can give the Commodores tonight. Well, they're going to need him because he's a creative scorer. We talked about how Tennessee's defense makes, forces you into tough twos. Great help right there. Jump ball goes back to Tennessee. Now Jordan Wright's a strong kid coming at you. Vescovy had to hold his ground, did a good job at it. Close for the steal, good recovery. He's got some space to work there, but it was Vescovy staying in front, taking that hit. Triple J comes over, gets a hand on the ball. 14-13, seven and a half minutes in almost. Here in Nashville, two teams met back on January 10th at Thompson Bowling. Vanderbilt actually had the lead at halftime before Tennessee seized control in the second, almost right out of the gates. And the lob inside, oh, the finish tough. is there for Kamwa. So, Ziegler comes all the way around. That down screen cuts through to the corner. That's the movement of hard cuts, hard screens at Rick Barnes' offense. Quick three by Studi. No. Well off the mark. Terry Key on the run. I don't think Coach Stack liked that. Likes Miles Studi to shoot it. Maybe not that one. Good job getting back in transition defense, though. Resetting the offense for Tennessee. Jemai Meshack on the floor for the first time. Ooh. Waka back to work. He'll get it back in a fresh 20. Tobey the jump hook. Yes. 
So you think you understand what his favorite move is? That little right-handed hook, maybe one, two dribbles with the left hand, spin up off that with the right-handed hook. You know, there was talk Strong. last night that maybe LeBron James would go to the sky hook to break the all-time scoring <laughs> record in the NBA. He didn't do it. I want to get your take on that. We talked with Coach Stack about how impressive that record was that was shattered. Tyron Lawrence from downtown. How about the Commodores? Red hot from deep. Four of six. What I love about Tyron Lawrence, Coach Stack sent him a message last week. He got the message. He's been playing fantastic ever since. Lob to Kamwa now. Mignon lobs it on the other end, and there's Lawrence. Jumping out of the gym, numero zero. Lawrence has 10 points and has been an entirely different player since that Alabama game in which he did not see the floor. Cabo stops at home. And a dunk party in Music City. Fun start. Great movement here by Vandy's offense. Malora Brown stripped out of bounds. Back to the balls when we come back. Vandy getting out and running in their transition shots, fighting their guys. And then when they're rolling, seems like everybody is too. But they have good shots. Yeah, just like anybody else. Sometimes they take a quick three. I know Coach Barnes addressed that early in the year when they started out the season shooting 43s in a game. Coach says, fellas, I know you can shoot it, but let's not settle for that three-point shot. That also goes into it. 19% of the two losses from deep. Two for 21 against Auburn this past weekend, but yet one. You think about that for a minute, and there's a lot to chew on. Key off the mark and rebounded by Plavchic, who just checked in. And just one thing we've seen start last night, offensive rebounds, second chance opportunities. That is something Vanderbilt's going to have to keep up with because Tennessee, third best in the country doing that. Best can be now with six, lead up to five. Paul Lewis on the floor for the first time, and a blocking foul inside on the attempted screen. Simple, just come off that ball screen, put him on the lower Browns, got to understand. Santiago Vescovi, first, he wants to pull up, shoot that three. You got to defend the three point line, just run him off the line, make him go to the secondary shot, whether it's a pull up or run him into your help defense. Foul was called on Quentin Malora Brown, his first, he'll get a breather. Commodore suddenly in a bit of a danger zone. Key, fade away, back iron. Who wants it right? Great Finally fight. rips away the rebound, but he stepped out of bounds. That's a good fight by Vanville Jordan, right? Big, strong kid. He's somebody that has got to get down there with Liam Robbins. All five guys from Vandy's going to have to. But again, you see Tyree Key comes off that down, that screen on the block, and he takes it right at the elbow, free throw line area, where he can just turn. Nice little fadeaway. High ball screen for Vescovi. Free throw line extended. Tried to bank that one in, perhaps. It'll track it down. No over and back after the tip. Yeah, I think they got rid of that call a while ago. And a forearm shimmy. Robbins, the guilty party. He'll pick up his first. Some big fellas in there. I mean, between Plopchich and Robbins. A lot happening, right? Big human beings right there. You're going to see a lot of that hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uro said, yeah, that was him. That was him. Plavchich has had some good offensive games on the block this year. And, well, Coach Barnes has talked about him continuing to improve to be a legit score. Throw him in there, make something happen on that block. Tyree Key got a breather, five points off the bench quickly in some critical moments. James launching, that's a three and an air ball. Back to Vanderbilt. So you, you talked about what type of three-point shots there that catch take your time maybe one dribble take that to the baseline with your right hand or take it around again Man, Tennessee's had a lot of success with that curl coming off that screen curl either to the middle 
Blobchitz just picked up his first foul. Tennessee still listed as a two seed, according to Joe Lenardi, after the one and one week from the past week. That's a lot of battling going on with Blobchitz and Liam Robbins right now. Not allowing Liam to get any position on that block. Forcing him out there. Catching it out near three-point line. He's got to go. Step back three. Fell oh. down and made it. Liam Robbins with three threes in the first half. He had six all season. And there's a lob. Kawa hit the deck. And the whistle was blown. Robbins interfered with it. We got another penetration to the middle of the floor coming off that high ball screen. Let's see if he gets it. That's just a that's a high collision. I I'm gonna say that was a foul. That's a foul. I'm gonna say that's a foul. That's all right though. Listen, he's his job is to contest everything at the rim, right? If you're not getting it, you're gonna get some fouls called on you. He plays physical as he does and challenge everything at the rim. But believe me, that's done wonders for Vandy and their defense. Even if you're playing with him. To know that you've got a guy back there that can protect the rim. Melora Brown poked it away, forcing the turnover. Robbins to the bench. That's great and all that you can defend and protect the rim, but when you got two fouls, you're not on the floor, it's a big deal. Well, Tennessee attacks the paint. And that's what they're known to do. They got 12 points in the paint right now. They've got the personnel to do it. Three-pointer off by Studi. That's what I like to see. Mitchell Tennessee currently still listed as a two seed and number two in the net ranking since all the way back on January 3rd, despite the loss against Florida. Come back against Auburn. Studi, the rebound, Plopchich over the back. It's a Vanderbilt tough fight you. Every way won't give you an inch. They continue to go to defensive glass. They have a great legends, Kinston, North Carolina, a lot of great athletes. Yeah. Brandon Ingram, Nolan's Pelican. Uh, played there from there. Of course, Victory, North Carolina is the home of Rick Barnes, the legend. Coaching stops at Providence, Clemson, Texas. And now you're number eight in Knoxville. This team arguably one of his best. There's a three. That was Colin Smith. Vanderbilt back in front. And the door's now six of ten from deep to start. That's what they were going to have to do, make some threes. They make about eight per game. Again, in the lane. Ziegler, the floater. you got to keep Ziegler out of that lane. They've been able to do a good job. Tennessee has a control in that paint. Two ties, six lead changes so far. Tennessee's won 11 straight in this series. As a top 10 team, surprisingly, the balls have struggled here in this building going back to 1968. Lewis was fouled, and the freshman set to shoot a couple of free throws. How about this? One in four. Big Orange ranked in the top 10 in this house. Going back to 68 when they were seventh in the country. Now, the last time that occurred, they won in OT back in 2019. This has always been a battle, the battle for Tennessee. And you know the emotions are always going to be high. We, before the game, saw a lot of Tennessee fans pouring in here. You knew that was going to happen, Vanderbilt. You could see though, when from from the tip, these Vanderbilt players understand how important and emotional this game is. In state rivalry, you're always going to get the best of everybody. Foul was caught on Ziegler, one of two at the stripe for Lewis. Six minutes to go in the first. Trying to spot Kamwa, and QMB read it perfectly. QMB knew it was coming. That ran that play a few times, stepped in. Come into my web, said the spider to the fly. Larry Bird was the best at that. He was the best at that in big moments, too, like in the playoffs. No doubt. He was the best at everything. QMB. Laura Brown, no. The putback, yes. Well, Miles Studi was hiding out right under the rim in the right place at the right time. Yeah, he hadn't really been able to get much going. Tennessee defense has been a good job getting a hand-up challenge in his three-point shot. Phillips off the mark. 
Tapped out and back to Vandy. Good job by QMB. Another tight curl right there. QMB says, okay, I understand Vescovy is not looking to go up with this, but that's good help by Lewis. Jordan Wright does a good job, even though he did get picked off, did a good job, didn't give up on the play. So QMB said, all right, I'm not going to overhelp. And that's what happens a lot. Guys overhelp when they don't need to. QMB didn't do it there, just stepped into the passing lane. Entertaining first half, five minutes to go. Ooh. Mignon, he's quick. He's got the headband in honor of Ron Slake. Is that, can I even say that? He's a Tennessee guy. Be careful. No. Robbins remains on the bench. Boy, Smith wanted to shoot it. Couldn't catch the pass. Forces one up and the bailout whistle. With one second on the shot clock. Second on Ziegler. Vanderbilt back to the strike. Tennessee has yet to shoot a free throw tonight. And Smith 63% at the line. Forget about the upcoming schedule this weekend. Number six, Tennessee. One of our highlighted matchups. Another quadruple header on Saturday. They'll host Kobe Brown and Mizzou at Thompson Bowling Arena. Coverage of that one starts at 6 Eastern, 5 Central. Where every weekend so big in the conference this time of year, right? Hey, Kobe Brown is right now, you, you put Brandon Miller, Alabama at the top, but Kobe Brown is making a case for certainly first team, but SEC player of the year, at least in the conversation. How about some Boots Radford love? Boots Radford, no doubt. Sakai Ziegler. I would put him in the conversation, at least because of the success of his team. He had a tough game over the weekend, but he's been very consistent. Great job by Vanderbilt here. Again, staying in front of that ball. Vescovy, no. Mignon the rebound. May have been the best defensive possession we've seen from Vanderbilt this year. I love the trail three from a guard like that. Get a little penetration, be able to get in transition. You're a shooter. How about trail three? Either two things when you're a shooter. Here, QMB does another good job of just getting his hand up there. Didn't have to block, just altered it enough. And, you know, he didn't overhelp there because if he does, Vescovy tosses that in the corner for Kamal for an open shot. Lawrence, short, Studi, who wants it? Ball's grabbing, that was Phillips. Get the sense Studi felt like that wasn't going to touch any rim. He was right there on it. It's like a pass. Now the first half of this game, feeling a lot like the first half of the game. And Knoxville, Key hit the deck. And Mignon may have forced him down. He did. Whistle for his second foul. Timeout on the floor, 3.30. A little slow on Tennessee getting out to him catching the other three have come from Liam Robbins the first two they allowed him catch and shoot the third one was a Hail Mary three is that how you refer to a three a Hail Mary how about Noah Clowney in terms of glue guy can I sell you on that basketball superhero glue man Jonas Adu coming off the bench numeral zero with his first points you know what I love to see no hesitation on the jump shot I, I can't emphasize that enough how important it is just catch it in rhythm confidence when you do catch it balance Anthony black is a glue guy. Oh, there's no question 19 points last night in the win at rough He was impressive. You may hear more about him coming up in uh, Wednesday night eaters later. Whoa tease tease <laughs> So Vandy's offense Lawrence, they do such a good job, man. I, so they do a good job of moving the defense side to side, being patient, and then attacking the open spot, the open gap, whether it's a drive or a quick swing for an open shot. A walk up double teams. Somehow kept possession. Key left open for a minute, and he makes him pay. Tyreek Key from downtown. Yeah, Tyron Lawrence has to recognize Tyreek Key wants to catch and shoot that. you got to get out and contest that, make him put it on the floor. Throw him off his spot. 
Number six, Tennessee, being tested on the road. Offense has been better. Good swing. Studi for three. A2 <laughs> claims the board. Here comes Key. Ahead to Phillips. And he was clipped by Lawrence. Free throws coming. But you see there, even though Vanderbilt, Miles Studi misses that shot in the corner. All five guys knew if we don't get that pick and roll, Quick pass by QMB, another swing to the corner, and now you've got Tennessee's defense scrambling in rotation, and you got it to your best three-point shooter, just didn't make it. Phillips 81% at the line in a tie ball game. Don't forget our Thursday night women's basketball doubleheader starts in Gainesville, KK Deans and Florida. Hosting Jessica Carter and Mississippi State. That's up first at 7 Eastern. Then Arkansas and Vanderbilt right here in Nashville. Head your way next at 9 o'clock Eastern. Another great night of hoops. Right here on the SEC Network, also on the app. So the, the, the way this, the, way the benches are, it's a very different feel. Even shooting free throws in this gym. I went and looked back. We didn't win a game in this gym. You were over. Over. Really? Against the likes of Drew Maddox and Billy Despaltro. Dan Lange, Pax Whitehead. So you struggled with the sight lines here, perhaps. Kind of threw you off a little bit, I'll be honest. Okay. But, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I, I shot well. I shot well. Uh, you always shot well. Well enough. Lawrence kept it alive. Thomas. Waka has been productive off the bench for Rick Barnes. So even though Tennessee... Doesn't get anything right up transition. I like the speed. They're sprinting up the floor, getting in their lanes. Like something's there to take advantage of it. Phillips against Jordan Wright. Key. <laughs> Launching just inside the three point arc. That's and that's a long two. That's when you're feeling. He's got a little smile on his face. He's got 10 points in the first half off the bench. Well, that, I mean, how about the ball fake? Where did the ball fake go? Just show the ball. Show the basketball. He's shooting it so well, that defender's going to fight. Thomas' baseline was shoved. This is good patience by Tennessee's offense. And Tyree Key feels it. Woo! Good pump fake there. Did not stay behind the three-point line, though. See what you want to do? A little pump fake? Sidestep. He sort of did a little. That's a long two. It's about the longest two-point shot you can shoot. Did that drive Nolan Richardson crazy back in the day when you guys did that? He did, but I, I you know, you 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 have to have sort of that peripheral vision. I know peripheral side to side, whatever down is. Robbins back, back on the floor. Oh. oh, and he jumped it. He jumped it. Liam Robbins. Talk about down. Wow. Playing like a man possessed tonight. Couple of threes. Vescovy. Lawrence clears. Oh, Robbins between two defenders that time. I thought he was running out of real estate. Under the rim. Well, my man has made three threes. But it's been really Vanderbilt's. We know they can make threes, but against Tennessee, it's never easy to get any shot off. And they've been able to find a way to get off and make six threes. Shot clock is off. Vanderbilt with a chance to tie or grab the lead right before halftime. Commodores had the lead in the first matchup after 20 minutes. Lob to Lawrence, swatted down. And the first half ends on a desperation heave that nearly went 34 to 32. Liam Robbins with the league. highest field goal percentage against the balls this season. Keep in mind, in many defensive metrics, Tennessee is the best team in America this season when it comes to simply defending the rim, keeping teams out of rhythm on offense. Kim Palm tells us that. And historically, in terms of points per game, field goal percentage, Tennessee's on track to do things we haven't seen done in the last 25 years. Vanderbilt has it to start our second half. Memorial Gym rocking. Mignon gets it back from Robbins. Ezra Mignon. Vanderbilt has done a good job of taking their time on each possession. 
challenging the Tennessee defense to play the entire shot clock right there at the end of it. And at I mean, you've got to play defense for a full 30 seconds. Bandy's done a good job of working that clock and getting up a good one at the end of it. Oh, Phillips looked like he may have taken a shot. Lost control and traveled. Rick Barnes wanted a foul. He will not get the whistle. Phillips may have caught one right in the chops. Mm. Wow, it's a it's a physical game. It's a contact sport for those who don't know. There's a lot of elbows, a lot of knees that are flying when you're coming through the lane. I used to come out of games with scratches on my back, my shoulders, trying to come off a screen. Somebody hit, gives you a hip, a shoulder. Some of the defensive numbers this year for Tennessee. A different story so far tonight. Tied at 34. One minute into our second half. Robbins with two Ooh. fouls. Make it three. Kamwa hit the deck. No, that was a shoulder right there. Yeah, I, typically I look at offensive fouls and if the player is out of control. It looked like the Kamwa lean in and try to go for the steal. When that elbow came up late, yeah, Kamwa yeah. had already fallen backwards. But you see, Kamwa leaned in on that. But yeah, that, that right chicken wing there by Liam Robbins was the reason for that call. If you're Jerry Stackhouse, how long do you leave Robbins on the floor? Kamwa makes him pay. Robbins backed off late, but he's got three fouls. I keep him in the rest of the game. Okay. Unless he gets tired. Mignon, a strong drive and a chance for three. He is quick and explosive. Vindy has done a good job of getting stuff early in the shot clock if they can. Magnon. Nice action there. Just coming up. Just just, just simple understanding. And Ziegler may have tapped him on the shoulder. That's his third foul too, by the way. They'll have a seat on the bench. Five and orange going off your screen. Magnon trying to get Vanderbilt the lead back. And he does. Tennessee has that luxury where they can play Vescovy at the point. Also, Tyree Key is a good ball handler, high IQ guy. Liam Robbins on the other side, though. It's tough to replace that big fella. How big of a deal is it to see Key provide this kind of spark given Tennessee's struggles recently? Well, that's in, and that's what he came to do in, in Tennessee. On cue, but short. Robbins tracks it down. Not, he, not, he didn't come through that, but he, he, he came to put up some numbers. How about the spin and the finish? Commodores by three. Here's Phillips. Reverse. Nicely done. Right now, Mignon has a speed advantage on the floor against Key and Vescovy. Without Ziegler in there, he knows that. He's attacked. Lawrence with 14 points tonight. He'll back it out. Set up the offense. Lawrence. Contact, no whistle. Mignon. Here comes Vescovy. Santiago held in check for the most part. So far, just six points. Kabwa. Last touch by Vanderbilt. Mignon is a hard driving guard. He set that up. Set it up by going to that baseline and knew that spin move was going to be there because there wouldn't help at the middle of the floor defensively for Tennessee. Woo, that little speed dribble right there just kicked it into another gear. Tony Green reversed that last call during that replay. Vanderbilt gets it back. Lawrence and Mignona, hard drivers, Tennessee. At halftime, no doubt, talked about what type of adjustments can we do to keep those guys out of the lane and not allow them to get a full head of steam. Mignon, the crossover. Ooh. Silky smooth, but that time turned it over. Yeah, you just can't make that pass over the top of Josiah Jordan James. It's too long. Too good anticipating that. The Waka back on the floor. Levin in orange for Tennessee. James against Studi. And easy flush. Tobe Awaka. That left side was open. Great. 
understanding by Josiah Jordan James hard left-handed dribble at the option am I gonna go high if there's no help off the glass there was dropped it off a walk has played strong today just staying around the rim for a walk right there you see Liam Robbins has to come over to help on time on target good finish by Walker he's got six points twice his season average Mignon outside to Studi. Tracked down by James. Tennessee got away with one there because that's the last guy you want to leave open. Commodores with six threes in the first half. None so far in the second. Four minutes in. Owaka against Robbins trying to get him another foul. A little back to the basket game. And the jump hook not this time. He fell down, no whistle. The putback is there for Phillips. Now Tennessee by three. And if there's something Tennessee can do better at in the second half is get on that glass. Get on offensive glass. They're 39% offensive rebounding percentage team, which is best in the SEC. Credit Vandy for fighting that first half, man. Every shot that went up, you had five guys fighting for it. Falls in the midst of a 6-0 run. James. Saved brilliantly by Phillips. He'll double check the shot clock. Reset to 30, then they switch it to 20. The under six. They can shoot the three, but I think they prefer to play around the rim. And uh, uh, Vanderbilt in this half, although they were trying to take it to the end of the shot clock in the first half, they've realized we can get out in transition. Magnon a lot faster than... Some of the Tennessee guards right now on the floor. Keon Thomas draws the double team. They do will feed the post. Jump hook is there. Owaka, he's got eight. And he has been efficient down there. Big, strong hands. Doesn't hesitate, goes that right-handed hook every time. Eight-nothing run for Tennessee. Lead at five. Here's Jordan Wright. The pump fake and a finish and a big bucket for number four. First points of the night. First one, you knew at some point Coach Stackhouse is going to get him involved. At 6'5", he can do a lot with the ball, gets in the lane, shoots nice little soft touch. Nice little stop and pop in the mid-range. Roy, it didn't go anywhere. Woo. Key's going somewhere. About 12 points coming off the bench. Tyreek Key is locked in. Indiana State transfer. One scored 34 in a singular contest Jordan Wright and a little deep sauce back-to-back -back buckets when your coach calls a play for you it gives you confidence to get rolling he did it the previous possession said let's go back to him we're gonna need Jordan Wright scoring some points in the second half elbow J there for James they're so good at the elbows Tennessee they get it to the elbow on curls on screens and they're all their guys can shoot it from there Wright scored the last five back to the basket picked up his dribble Commodores with 10 to shoot. Thomas open for a minute. That's a three. One point game. Oh, there's a lot of movement. Good job by Vanderbilt's offense. Continue to move the ball, come off screens, attack that three point line. Balls at eight and two in the SEC. Vanderbilt at four and six. Log jam in that number two to number five spot in the conference after last night's games. Vescovy, no. And save to right. Jordan Wright will push tempo. Trey Thomas. Tyree Key ahead to Vescovy. Walker took a tumble down there under the basket. To one of the, the cameramen. We're doing a fine job tonight. An outstanding job. Under the rim, scrum, saved by Lawrence. Jordan Wright with the bounce. Vanderbilt back in front.
James. The lobs picked off by Lawrence. How big of a difference maker has Jordan Wright been the last two minutes? Against James. Now, Mignon, that's not really a shot from the corner and a wise decision. Great decision. If you can't get some early, which they've three possessions, they've been able to push the ball. Vandy get some layups. Mignon, one of 18 from deep. <laughs> Lawrence spins it in on the reverse. He's got 16. Vanderbilt by three. Tennessee's 8-0 run responded to by Vanderbilt with a 7-0 burst. Key off the screen. Floater is there. And just patient and content with that simple screen right to the open area there above the free throw line. High percentage shot as well. Robbins remains on the bench. One point game. Thomas with a mid-range. A2 clears. Tennessee hadn't had as many opportunities to get out and run this half like they did the first half. James. Big night of basketball in the SEC, the first of three games. Coach Stack telling him to let's Let's run our offense here, which they did a lot in that first half. Make that Tennessee defense play for a full shot clock. Make a move side to side. Win Malore Brown. Big man move, no. And the putback, he was fouled. Jerry Stackhouse, the round of applause. Big couple of days in the SEC when we come back. Let me tell you, let me tell you, the way that kid's can score, they could use him. Now, anybody could use him. I just, you, you, you wonder, right? We're getting, we're creeping towards mid-February. It's about that time? <laughs> it's about his time, yeah. <laughs> With well, the Lord Brown, not a great free throw shooter. He's got yeah. one more. He, he's played well. He's been, is Liam Robbins in foul trouble and, with him stepping in. There's big Liam right there. One of two. Commodores lead it by two. Trailed at halftime here at home. There's pressure here by Vandy. I like it. Sakai Ziegler back on the floor with three fouls. He's been the leading scorer. They switch it up to a zone. A little zone here. Just throw that rhythm off of Tennessee. Force that three. Ziegler from downtown. Ooh. Balls grab the advantage. Mentioned the offense has been better really for both sides tonight. Tennessee shooting 52%. Now 5 of 15 from behind the three-point arc. Jordan Wright fade away. Quinn Malore Brown no, and Kamwa has it. Pass to Phillips out of bounds. Uh-oh. Phillips was running the other way. Kamwa with the outlet went right off of his elbow. Yeah, he wanted to have that one back as soon as he let it go. Tennessee did a good job in transition early first half. Looked like they wanted to get back to that. Get out and run. Kamwa said, let's go. Advance pass. Mignon against Ziegler. How great of a matchup is this? Speed on speed. There's no doubt. Yeah, Mignon and Lawrence have been playing well. and Got Jordan Wright chipping in the second half. Smith from deep. Robbins back on the floor. Blocked by A2. Ziegler claims it. Big on big. Kamwa with a path. He was fouled. Jordan Wright got there and grabbed him. That was all predicated on Julian Phillips. You see him. He sprints down to the corner. Flattens out the defense. Kamwa sprints. Great advance pass right there by Zakai. And they get there before the defense sets up. He's got 14. Ooh. Short on the mid-range. Stays with Tennessee. That was a great step back. He's 6 of 12 from the floor, 2 of 4 from deep, a couple of rebounds. And a Salina, Tennessee. 
A spin by Ziegler. Phillips with the bounce. So that was three hard drives to the paint. Ziegler to Kamwa and then to Phillips. That's what Tennessee's going to try to do in this half is take back that paint. Commodores have missed their last six. Thomas against Ziegler. Outside to right. And Ziegler pops it right back to Robbins. He wanted a foul, no whistle. Against Adu. Shoulder down. Goaltending, count the bucket. Doug Shouse with a call. And the under eight media timeout arrives. Good job by Liam Robbins being strong here. Spin off that right. It's a lot of action going down. It's going to be a physical game. Oh, I remember back in the last century, the latter part of the last century, coming into Memorial Gymnasium. It's not an easy place to win. First of all, just how the court is. You've got to get used to that. Commodore's back in the zone. Yep, another zone action here. Come on against Wright, and Wright with a steal. 12 lead changes, six ties already tonight in this one. Got LSU and Mississippi State as soon as we're done in Nashville. You got Florida and Alabama over on ESPN2 coming up at 9 Eastern. Right inside was open. Off his fingertips. It stays with the Commodores. Jordan Wright, great hands. Taking away that baseline. Just reading that move perfectly by Kamwa. Off the inbounds, right to Robbins, the spin. Outstanding defense by Awaka. He, he's played some great minutes, Awaka has. His physicality match Liam Robbins in the paint, scoring defensively. Robbins coming off another double double against Ole Miss, plus seven blocks. Ziegler sky high with a mid range. Kamwa clears. Under seven to play. Sakai against the seven footer. Found himself open, but short the floater. Well, as this game continues to get tighter at the end. You know it's going to come down to free throws, layups, and three-point shooting. <laughs> Jordan Wright from downtown. He has taken over this second half with big shots. Come on with position. Robin stuck in to reject it. Vanderbilt with momentum. Here's Lawrence. Wright wants it. You can feel it. Pops out to Lewis. And a foul called on Key. Jordan Wright. Boy, did I call it. I told you it was going to come down to Jordan Wright knocking down from the three-point line. <laughs> no, just kidding there. <laughs> He's got ten after that make. But right there, just a good move under control. Decides not to take that screen. Gives him a little bit of space. And Liam Robbins now allowed to play a lot more aggressive. Had an early three fouls. Coach Stackhouse takes him out. Says now you can go back in and play the kind of physical game like you want to. Jordan Wright scoreless at halftime. Coming out of concussion protocol. All ten of his points in the second half. The senior from Baton Rouge coming up clutch. Robbins was fouled. Free throws for 21 in white. And that, that was just a simple play of one-on-one. -on -one. I will not be denied. Teammates give him room to work. Josiah Jordan James, once he turns, Liam Robbins turns his back. Now he knows I'm going to go double hard. No hedging on that double hard on Liam Robbins. First free throws of the night. 76% on the season. It's a third foul on Awaka. 
Liam Robbins, if you're just tuning in, made three threes in the first half. <laughs> to start the game. Had maybe the dunk <laughs> of the year for Vanderbilt as well. One of two at the strike. Awaka clears. Commodores by three under six to go. Zone again by Vandy. Protecting Liam Robbins also from having one on one with Awaka. Boy, Ziegler almost cut right out of his shoes. Vescovy open for a moment. No. Robbins the rebound. Tennessee has won 11 straight against Vanderbilt. It's tied for the longest streak in this series. And over 200 meetings all time. Last win coming way back in 2017. I don't even remember that. Vandy is working Tennessee's defense. Just making a move. Finding an opening. Phillips a rebound. Against Robbins. Waka no. Robbins yes. Six nothing run for Vanderbilt. And a chance to add to that on this possession. Robbins a rebound away from a double double. 14 and 9. And Lawrence just dribbled that one out of bounds. Stackhouse. Can't believe it. And coach offers some encouragement. And coach offers some encouragement. Yeah, might have been bothered by the length of Phillips right there. You see the patience of Vanderbilt's offense. Early in the second half, they were coming downhill fast in transition. Now trying to slow that game down. Ball struggling on offense the last five minutes. Vescovy will try to change it. And he does. Great. Tied at 58. Great job of Waka catching it right in that free throw line. Area in the zone. Quick pass. Vescovy exactly where he needs to be for the catch and shoot three. Right open. Right finishes at the rack. Give him 12. Ahead to Key. And the putback. Vescovy came in fly. Jordan right on the other end. And the action fast and furious tonight in Music <laughs> City. <laughs> it's coming in bunches. It's coming in runs. And a brief hiatus under the rim. We got 316 to go. We are tied at 60. Come back with us. His quickness to match up with Magnon and Lawrence, they need that. Tennessee needs that. And I think that's going to be key for Tennessee down the stretch is keep making sure Ziegler stays on the floor. You saw the numbers. Vanderbilt shooting about 11% higher against Tennessee than its season average. Pump fake by Key. Tennessee defensively clamping down on teams at a rate we haven't seen since Stanford 25 years ago. Ziegler off the mark. Another offensive rebound for Awaka. Robbins the block. Out to Mignon. Uh, you, you may be able to shoot one over Liam Robbins once, twice, but give him enough opportunities, he's going to time that. Seven blocks against Ole Miss, just two tonight. Lawrence. Waka clears. And you see Tyree Key, good job, and then hard left-handed drive by Lawrence. No one who wants to go to that left hand. Beating him to the spot. Forcing him into a tough two. Ball's just two for their last ten. Waka inside. Robbins defending again. Tennessee is making sure Liam Robbins is having to defend every play down the floor. Colin Smith was fouled. Three free throws coming for number one in white. Oh, Waka would love to have that one back. That is his fourth. You know, at times when a big fella's forced to defend on the perimeter. 
That's just a natural instinct. If you're not accustomed to defending the three-point shot as a big fella, you're going to run out and try to put a hand, try to block it. No, you don't do that. You can't do that. You're talking about you're fouls on three-point shots. I seem to remember one that could have went down Saturday that Ooh. didn't. This one gets whistled. Remember I said free throws? When this game gets tighter, 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 the possessions are going to get longer. Both teams are going to try to work their offense. And the ability of Vandy, the last couple possessions, to defend the paint. Kamwa in. Waka checks out. Smith, 63% at the line. And Coach Barnes instructing this freshman from New York. The lead is three. Two minutes to go. Ziegler blocked. Kamwa gets it back. Best can be for the tie. Yes! And when you have smart players like Vescovi, broken plays could be your best plays. Mignon's got to go. Memorial Gym is rocking. Jordan Wright fell down. Shot it from the floor. Ziegler has it finally. One minute to go. Jordan Wright shot it while sitting down. I think he was worried about the shot clock and then thought maybe he would be able to get a call. Right there, great job by Kamwa, meeting him at that free throw line area, not allowing him to turn the corner. Ooh, tried to give him a hesitation, actually, and just fell. Probably thought he'd be able to get a call. Maybe get lucky with the official thinking a Tennessee player reaches in on that. Plenty of timeouts for both sides. And a game that has been well played we haven't seen many free throws. We haven't seen many fouls called up to this point. It's been a great balance of the officials allowing them to play, but also making sure that when a guy does go up and earn a trip to the free throw line, they get it. Fouls to give on both sides. Under a minute to play, Memorial Gymnasium. Balls have won 11 straight in this series. Vanderbilt has to foul, and it does. And just the third team foul called on the Commodores here in the second half. Kamwa does a good job of forcing Robbins into a fadeaway. And then it's an all-out scramble for the basketball. That was just... You know, if you were a Vanderbilt fan, that's just bad luck with that ball just falling off of the hands of Lawrence. Josiah Jordan James mm. turned that ankle coming down, it looked like. Yeah, and that's just a tough pass to handle. Not as easy as you think for Tennessee to continue to get the basketball in bounds. Fortunately, you get a quick Sakai Ziegler. Lawrence has to foul in a hurry, and he does. That's just the third team foul. Four more to put Tennessee in the bonus. Well, fortunately for Tennessee, they're able to take the ball out right there on the sideline. You've got plenty of room to work. Anything closer to that baseline, though, Get a little nerve wracking trying to throw it in. And a timeout. timeout. Called it in the closer you get to that corner. Did Rick Barnes just throw up a Home touchdown run. pass? Touchdown pass. Let's see if they do it. Phillips was open for a moment. Ziegler has it. Quickly fouled. So now we get a little bit closer to that corner. However, it leaves 
the front court open for that touchdown pass, if you will. Josh Heupel certainly encouraged by that commentary. <laughs> right there, he's got Phillips it. Phillips open, wide open. And a smart play, no foul time continues to tick. Stays with Tennessee. I think, Tennessee. He, I think, you think he dunk it? I think he dunked that. A couple of more seconds ticked off the clock. Smith finally got him but, after Wright did not. But, but it's interesting. Right. I just think it's anytime you try to throw the ball in bounds, it's a hairy situation, man. Siegler has it. Fouled quickly. 8.5 to go. And now the next foul will force the one and one. Because you look at it, what would you rather? Go to the free throw line. And I think Coach Barnes is talking to Julian Phillips about it now. Would you rather go to the free throw line with eight seconds, six seconds, five seconds, whatever it ends up being? However, okay, Zakai's they gotta throw it in one more time. Or would you rather have that two? You're up four. Right. Now you're in a situation where it's the gimme two. Jerry Stackhouse calls a timeout. And I'm telling you, getting the ball inbounds, people think I just Ziegler, Phillips, Vescovy. I'd like to see him get up in the mid-80s, the kind of shooter he is. But we know who Tennessee wants to have it in the hands of Sakai Ziegler and Vescovy. Vescovy was bumped. Got to go. And a five-second call. Was it? Or did Doug Shouse give, give Tennessee the timeout? Right. Well, for a second, I thought he showed the five fingers, and that's what we were doing. <laughs> Tennessee gets awarded the timeout. That was close. Right. So you see now you in free throws, high percentage shots. Can you get them? Can you stop them? This right here is just old school. Can you get open? V cut, set a screen. Vescovy trying his best, gets the bounce pass, foul from behind. And Santiago Vescovy, 79% at the line, getting set to shoot Tennessee's first free throws of the second half. Well, that, and that was just Vescovy being creative of how to get open. Just using the hips, sealing off his defender, and then protecting the ball to be able to catch it so Lawrence couldn't reach around him. Only two free throws in this game for the Vols. First ones of the night for Santiago Vescovy. No! Lawrence has it! Time winding down. And a timeout called by Jerry Stackhouse. Four seconds to go. <laughs> the Tennessee's defense is the best out there. So they've done a good job. And you know, this is going to be their most motivated defensive stance to keep you out of the lane and challenge that three-point shot. 4.8 to go. Robbins has it. Here comes Mignon with a path. Outside to Lawrence. Four 